Welcome back to Cheche. Today's guest is former Lands, Housing and Urban Development Cabinet Secretary Charity Ngilu. No government has been formed without her since 2002. And yet, Mrs. Ngilu, we cannot discuss the intricacies of um, your court case um, because, you know, the case is ongoing. Um, but your suspension from cabinet last year on corruption allegations, um, over 20 years of public service, that's a huge stain on your record, isn't it? It is. It is, and um, um, it's surprising how um, when I got to be appointed as the cabinet secretary in charge of land housing and urban development, I was very skeptical. I said that um, to the president that I have had about Minister of Land and what happens there, and this would be very difficult for me to deal with. We pose a challenge, I say to him, um, but he said to me that. I know it is, but we have got to clean the Minister of Land. And I have confidence in you that you are going to clean the Minister of Land. And, and, and I said, are you sure you are going to support me in that? He said, yes, I'll support you in that. And I believed so. And uh, we started the journey. And I want to say that um, in that journey for two years when I was there, uh, there's still a mark that we made. Like I made marks, you know, huge steps and differences in other ministries where I worked. Uh, whether you talk about Minister of Health, the Minister of Water, I can tell you specific uh, achievements that we made in those ministries, like the Minister of Land Housing and Urban Development, um, you know, Land Housing and Urban Development, the differences that we made in that ministry. Because to clean up, first of all, you needed to put that ministry in some form of order, which we did. Um, Kenyans will remember when we uh, closed the ministry for 10 days, just to put the files in the right place, because files were everywhere. And when people went to the Ministry of Land, they had to get into the registries to look for their own files, that you would not find a file where it's supposed to be. And we did that very well, and it was very successful and we cleaned the registry, the Nairobi registry, and we started cleaning other registries in preparation for digitization, because that was the next thing. Um, when I got to the ministry, I found uh, so many computers on, on all the desks, uh, but they were not being used. And I said, uh, what are these computers supposed to be doing? Because we should computerize, uh, digitize the records of the ministry so that people can uh, get access to information whenever they, whenever they, they want it. And I was told, uh, somebody tried what you're trying to do right now, and they left the way it is. And I was warned. My problem started in the ministry way back uh, in 20, uh, that 2013, just when I actually was appointed. Remember, there was a motion in Parliament for me to be removed from that ministry. But that's because you appointed someone without going through Parliament. And that was not the case. Mm. Um, that was one of them. Well, that's, that's a good reason that they gave. And um, you know the pup, the, I'm sure you know the people who are behind it. Because I was trying to put a system in place that was going to stop all these... I don't know who was behind it. They were, uh, <laughs> you know, the same people were talking in Parliament. And then after that, they, they, they tried to say, stop this digitization. But the president was, digitization has to be done. And um, that is where the problem began. Because, of course, once you start digitization, you will certainly know all the records. You will have to put them in order. There are many people. The cartels would not have it. I locked the gates. We used to have a lift that used to carry people and people from outside not working in the ministry used to have the key to the lift you know they just come in and they go to the office where they want to go they would get to all the records and they would they, they, it was just a mess and I closed all that and I, I, I was certainly warned that um, this is going to catch up with you come come to what the reason why they said I, I was suspended, or I was uh, removed from the ministry. They say, I did not give the original file from the registry, and that I should have given original file. And I said, no, 
you cannot take, take original file from the registry. You can only get a copy of the file. And we had done that before. You do remember we had a case of 22 pieces of land of Lamu, which had taken nearly half the Lamu cover, <coughs> 500,000 acres of land in people's hands. And we said we have the files and we cannot give you originals. We can only make copies for you. So we made copies for, uh, uh, you know, ethics and anti-corruption, their own full copy. We made for Directorate of Criminal Investigation, their own copy, and we let them to do their investigations. When they asked for this particular one, we said, I said to the officers, please bring it, bring that file back and make a photocopy and give it to them. They said, no, we want the original. I said to the officers, you can't leave original. You can get them if they want, make a photocopy and, and they come back mm -hmm. and they certify mm -hmm. and they come back with the original for the registry. They refused to with it. They still refused with the file. Which particular file are you referring to? The one for Karen. This has to do with the case about yes, yes. obstructing. 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 Yes. They still refused and I corruption people still refused with that file and they stayed with it and I asked even that could you make a copy because I've got to use the same information when I go before the cabinet committee on land uh, before the parliamentary committee on land and they said no and they stayed with it and, and they still have it and they still have it and that's what they now said I obstructed that is the case that I have in Parliament. And, and the, in court. In court. In court. Yeah. in court. That's the case that I have now in court. So you ask, I thought when you talk about corruption, is that they should have said, I got somebody's money, I got somebody's land, I got this. How can you get a cabinet secretary out of office? Because she did what just what she's supposed to do, you, you know, you, protect the record. But you feel you are let down by the president because you said he said he won't support you. Do you think he let you down? I, I want to say that uh, he, he sh I, I said to him many times that the powerful cartels in this ministry will not let us work. It is too difficult because this is where they eat. They have done that for many years. And unless we stop them, and they are not small people, they are not the small people. These are the big people in offices. In big really offices. haven't quite answered Mutegi's question, a very direct one. Do you think that President Kenyatta let you down? You started by telling us um, that he, you sought his support. He, he, he promised me that he was going to support me, absolutely, in yeah. every way. Um, but uh, let me also say, here that... Uh, Cartels are very powerful. They More can, powerful than the President I of the Republic of Kenya. I am you that cartels in this country have got to have a magufuli, I think. They, they, they are. We have very powerful cartels in okay. this country. Okay, so are that we then to What we are saying is the yes. President is powerless. I've talked about the cartels. No, no. We would like to get a <laughs> categorical um, response to the question about the president. And you've even talked about bringing in a Magufuli. So do you think the president failed to support you? Do you think the president is failing I, I, when I, it I'm comes to dealing with yeah. the controversies I feel, around I, land? I, I, I felt here that uh, certainly I was on the right track. We were going to achieve because both president and the deputy said clearly we are going to give the land answers. We are going to give land solutions. And so did, have they reneged on our that? Time. Have they reneged on that promise? Look at it today. When I was there, we started the journey of doing the three million title deeds. Today, I, I'm, I'm pleased that uh, uh, CS Kaimeni is now delivering the title deeds that I did. Mm -hmm. I put up a very beautiful state of the art national titling set. You're being very careful not, to burn, your not to burn your bridges. <laughs> and I say <laughs> that uh, I say you, you see you see you, you you've got to look at uh, what person I believe has got to be done.
follow strictly on the things that you plan to do but if you find that somewhere things are not going right and you are not achieving what you plan to achieve then you can change course for what you are doing there was no need to change course okay but absolutely so, uh, so I'll ask you again did the president fail to support you um, I, I want to see everything that we put on issues of land achieved okay um, sorry David I want to stay with this yes, I want to you, stay you, right are, there. you are able to come out and say that you were wrongly and unfairly treated and you called for the sacking of Miss Anne Waiguru when she was having her troubles in the Ministry of Devolution and Planning and so do you think that there were double standards there mm, and no, no. if there were who um, was the author of those double standards? Let me, let me just again say here that uh, first, I never called for Anwai Kuro's sacking. The one statement that I made, I said that um, there cannot be selective way of doing investigations and dealing with issues to do with corruption. That I said. And that I'll continue to say. Uh, nevertheless, after saying that... But is that a failure of leadership, then, if there is selective application of justice and values and standards? Uh, because I, I, I looked at the, that list, you know, the list that was presented in Parliament. And one of the things you said was, the if the, these allegations have been hanging around for two years, her name should have been on that list. No, no, no. I, uh, what I said is that uh, what I look, when I looked at the list and the list of the, the, the names and the description of the people who were there, in fact, one that, that which did not escape my mind was where uh, in the Treasury uh, uh, Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission had asked that there was a billion shillings you know, lost somewhere when um, they were procuring some this ifmis mm -hmm. and and that was there in the list of the 175 and by the way that is when uh, his excellence the president himself was the minister in charge of finance so my question just just was did somebody not see that there was something here I mean who went through this list and uh, how come with that list Nobody had ever even called me to tell me, come, there's something that we want to ask you. I mean, how could I hear my name in Parliament first time that the name is there? And that's why I keep on saying that for me, it is about these cartels that did everything well to see who they wanted out of offices and for their own benefit and reason. So again, did the president fail to support you? Did he, I, did he I, succumb to the, the You the, say that they're powerful. The, the best what thing, are you saying? The best thing is for me to leave people to see what I was doing and whether what I was doing in the Ministry of Land. You, have said, you have said you want a Magufuli in this country. We need somebody who can clean up. Really what does that tell us this, of, of, this, your, view, of this, your view of this, the president? This country, this country, let me tell you. You this country let me tell you because what you are seeing is real disorder sometimes uh undisciplined you know force today we are mourning death once again of people who have just gotten trapped in a building i have even but you were housing cs I up until now you haven't said anything about that I it's been have, four days i have a case today of somebody who is building on on a riparian area i have a case and they say she should not have stopped it i have a case of wetland wetland in westlands that had been taken and who had taken that piece of land people know people know some of the problems that i was going through you all remember is when i stopped this um, Langata Primary School lunch, you, you know, and and I, I I I was already being asked, what is it? Why 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 is this happening? And yet the people who were constructing that wall were guarded.
by police. I am not in charge of police, and you remember um, CS Interior going there and saying, Charity Ngilo has failed people, but his officers are guarding the people who are constructing the wall. I mean, would an officer just go and, and guard construction of a wall without express authority of somebody you know, in a big office? <laughs> Surely? It is interesting. I mean, what, come uh, on, mm -hmm. Madam Charity is saying. <coughs> yes, two aspects to your argument. One is for people like me who are looking in and other skeptics of your cleanup exercise, digitization plan, and whatever. We saw that to be somebody's agenda you are prosecuting. In fact, there was a lot of resistance to what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And you didn't want to hear any of it. Yes. You were focused, your energy was dedicated to fixing the lands in the manner you had decided. Not any destruction, not any cause, not any criticism can, can I would just be correct you before, the, the, Not the, the way I had decided. The way we had said as government it was going to be done. Yeah. You see, it's not my decision. It's it's cabinet. Decision. cabinet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cabinet. Which again, in the same mind of the critics, that cabinet was again still hostage to a certain way of doing things that was not necessarily the public or popular or other way of doing it. Because in the minds of these people, cabinet was also fixing the agenda of certain people. And these people believed that the people who should have been fixing that problem was not the ministry, but the National Lands Commission, which you had a lot of clashes with. So that at the end of it, as Woodwork is asking, did the president let you down? Did you feel disappointed at one point that you needed his support and he didn't? Or did you in fact exceed the president's own, you know, Overreach remit? You overreached yourself and went past what he had expected you to do and began prosecuting your own or other people's agenda. Um, first and foremost, um, about the National Land Commission, National Land Commission went to court to find out what their mandate is and the court clearly told them their mandate was actually to deal with the issues of public land, not private land and not um, community land. So that was settled by court and that is just where the clashes were because they, it, it used to be very difficult for people to come and get served by the ministry. Um, so those were the clashes that used to come. Once the court decided on this, and it was decided only uh, last year, about November, the matter came out and they were told, advice. this is what you need to do, and this is what the minister is supposed to do. You hear that doesn't happen anymore. So I but the ministry sent it back to you, and you even dismissed that finding of this. So no, 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 no. I remember you didn't receive it. Wow. No, 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 no. What the court said was said in November when I had already left the ministry, and they were told, this is what you should deal with. Public land is what you have been given to do in the Constitution. So they were told to leave other issues to do with private land and to do with community land. Uh, but of course, they also said there is need to do work very well cordially together, and that is the way it should have been. One thing that I had put in place, I was said in the ministry that we cannot have everybody getting to every office. We have got to have some order and some discipline and how people come in and get served. The ministry sometimes you don't even know who works there and who, who is uh, a visitor coming to be served. And that's what I try to do. As I said to you before, <coughs> the lift down there, you know, you get into the lift and you don't know who is getting in there because everybody from outside have they got their own keys to the lift. And it's a it's security mm -hmm. risk in a ministry like lands housing and urban development. Um, so, um, I, I come back to your question. Did I feel let down? I said this. I feel that uh, the things that we said were going to be done in the Ministry of Land needed to be followed and carefully executed so that we actually get this land issue very well. I had already put in place plans to get
the three million title deeds that we, you know, we said we are going to give to people. And I put in, as I said, the National Titling Center. Today, I am saying without a doubt that it doesn't seem like the things that we said we are going to get done will be done on time. Which means what you're saying is that... Uh and, and therefore, um, I, I should have been uh, careful and like many other uh, officers sitting in offices and... Um, but people accused you... You don't do but anything. People accused you, Madam Charity, of, that's what I'm saying, doing this particular uh, operations to achieve a certain objective, either validate, cover up, or clean up records that were problematic. And therefore you are serving certain forces we can that give you an example. We can give you an example. When uh, the ICC asks for land, yes. if it belongs to certain uh, suspect, in, the, in the, those cases there, you send them nothing. And so we can develop that point further um, to say that uh, you've been silent um, on the two-thirds gender principle bill. You say you've been busy working the grassroots. We haven't heard from you um, on the quality of construction in the country. Um, and you've been very careful here um, about the author um, of your troubles with government. And so it does seem as if, in terms of politics, you pursue personal interest and not necessarily ideology. Is that a fair assumption? Uh, that's not a fair assumption. Why not? Uh, and, and, and the reason here is that um, until you are, until you are in that office that you can correct things and correct them well, there would be no need for you to continue like what I'm doing here and because I still say them even when I, although when I'm not in the office I still say them when you get into an office you can actually not just talk about the issues but correct them you know office people give you an office so that you can do certain things are you saying you regret having done whatever you did because you say maybe I should have sat down here then I'm like that. I, I, I'm you just, do you I'm, regret? I'm just saying that uh, with a hindsight if I was going to serve certain interests two things I could have done either say I cannot do this and therefore leave the office for somebody else to do so or do it and then face the consequences mm -hmm. which is what happened so have your privileges really, been withdrawn? That is really, sorry. Have your privileges been withdrawn? I mean, what's your status? Are you suspended? Are you sacked? Do you still have the bodyguards? The I, cars? I, I, what I, what I, I do not know, um, because to date I have not received uh, any communication. You know, remember also, even for us to have been told, step aside. We were never told you are fired. We were, we were told only a list, list that had, be, had not been sanctioned at all. I had never even been called by ethics to say, come and write a statement. So the, uh, what happened that step aside and they go home and you are not told even the reason why? You, you accuse her. Which means you are getting what all your salary and the your allowances and the kill too. No, no, no. You don't that, get a salary. That I don't get. You are, you are not told you are being accused by this person. You have the cars and bodyguards. This, I don't have Anything. a government car. Bodyguards? I don't have a government car. I have some security. And, and um, so, so, so I say you are never told what. It always you are assumed if you are accused of something you are in innocent until you are proved guilty so why was I being told to leave office okay. I have not been charged I was not told why but I was told to leave office that's why I come back about the cartels you know the cartels they're powerful these unnamed people who uh, got you out of government. This is Cheche. We're live on Citizen TV. Our SMS number is 22422. Uh, you can tweet us using the hashtag Cheche.